ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಲಿತಾ ದಿವ್ಯ ರಹಸ್ಯ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ದ ಕಮಾಚರಣ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಸೌತ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಟು absorption of unconditional nectar of cosmic energy in such in this state the universal mother herself will the energy of universal mother enters into these individuals and transforms even the notorious the rigid mindset people into yoga into yogis not only that she um, she provides them the uh, the leads of the bhakti yoga and she preaches them the vidya yoga and gives them all the secrets that are hidden in the universe she she makes the seekers available to such individuals now this particular combination of north bond on south bond forces in the body is like it is like a password in this password is like unlocking the electronic device so in this particular mode of operation only this can be possible and that is that the uh, training that uh, one receives to operate in this harmonious state is provided through lalita divya rahasya sastra nama stotra let us move on the next nama is sato dari sato dari so in the previous nama sarashchandra nibha nibhasana the the imbalances in the wealth were were been cleared were been uh, minimized uh, through the unified approach of unified approach similar to uh, similar to the rain that happens which is uniform across the region so just just like that uh, so the the wealth that was accumulated to through that through sarashchandra nibhana nibhasana wealth that was accumulated through the sarashchandra nibhasana so keeping that wealth um, in a, secretly and then not only keeping storing that wealth secretly but uh, making effort to grow this wealth to improve this wealth that is satodari udara means uh, uh, it is uh, stomach or tummy so so here secret is called uh, guhya so the the those individuals who have passed through bhakti yoga sacharatan bhakti yoga and then vidya yoga then implementing the uh, uh, ice, uh, vidya yoga and then aishwarya yoga or wealth yoga implementing that wealth for the benefit of the mankind to establish order in the universe these individuals are they have the potential they have the capability to to bring the to to command the rains even in a, even in drought areas because they the wealth they accumulate they will not use it for selfish 
reasons they will use it for the uh, benefit of the mankind so these individuals are are given the responsibility to store this wealth secretly and uh, if possible grow this wealth to improve this wealth improve on the wealth so here guhya is guhya means it's uh, similar to guha guha means cave so there are lot of uh, caves in um, in the in the range in the terrain of himalayas there are many many caves so there are many individuals who have um crossed the stage of bhakti yoga and then uh, vidya yoga then implementing the aishwarya yoga sitting in this caves in himalayas helping the mankind the helping the universe towards restoration and uh, improving on the wealth that they can command therefore satodari is the it is a, it's a representation of the energy form of the himalayas so here udara udara means um, tummy so um, anybody who wants to keep the secrets they will say we am we am i'm keeping the secret, secret in my in my tummy so they don't keep the secrets in the heart because heart is uh, uh, it is one of the fastest responding um, part so uh, they don't keep it in the heart they keep it in the tummy in their tummies so the similarly the those who are in the witness mode who have pro, cross cross the stage of uh, bhakti yoga and then vidya yoga then uh, uh, aishwarya yoga and able to distribute this wealth equally to everybody um, working towards minimizing the imbalances in the society so they can keep this wealth in their tummy and then increase this uh, wealth improve on this wealth so that is satodari the next nama is santimati so santimati means uh, uh, the forces that are south bound in our body are called pancha brahmas who resides in the sahasrara on the top of the head now these are the witness mode operation operating um, entities in the body the five elements that are in present in the external physical world when they manifest internally in the body human body they are called pancha brahmas so shanti mati means uh, the the stable faculty of discretion of uh, the pancha brahmas who are south bound in the body so having a discretion that is as stable as the pancha brahmas discretion that is santimati so there is a there is a pro, pro, proverb in uh, in telugu talli kadupu challaga talli kadupu challaga bhatakara bhatakara pachaga so talli kadupu challaga meaning uh, the um the stable uh, stable tummy of uh, of the divine mother or the mother so when when there are no disturbances in the in the in the tummy or stomach then the the fire element that is present in the anahata or heart chakra the intensity of the fire element gets minimized and uh, the faculty of mind oscillations also 
the intensity of the faculty of mind oscillation also gets reduced so that means mind gets sta- mind becomes stable so uh, in what circumstances this uh, uh, situation arises the the wealth that was stored in the tummy that is not been wasted it is been improved it is been um, uh, the efforts are been made to improve on this wealth so this very thought this very um uh this this very uh, thought will uh, bring in will will uh, will will make the tummy stable and will reduce the the intensity of the fire element in the body and hence the stable oscillation of of the mind that is shanti mati so here mati doesn't necessarily mean that it is is related to faculty of mind mati means if if we um address the letters of the word mati mati means uh, the the pancha brahma's faculty of discretion associated with the uh, faculty of discretion that is na- na- north bound present in anahata chakra having tamoguna qualities tamoguna sar the heavy duty action items so mati means the faculty of discretion that is present in the sahasrara uh, that is pancha brahma's faculty of discretion associating with the faculty of discretion of north bound having tamogunas that is mati therefore uh, it means uh, having uh, the faculty of discretion of the pancha brahmas who are witness mode elements in the body and using this faculty of discretion of the pancha brahmas um using this faculty faculty of discretion of pancha brahmas um, um tamogunas are being used towards the karma acharana reaction that is san, uh, so this that is mati therefore shanti mati um means uh, uh usually the faculty of discretion is supposed to ha- we having uh, uh earth elements which are called rajogunas but tamogunas are mainly water elements in the body so shanti mati def- uh, refers to um the earth element of the faculty of discretion which is being stable there are no disturbances there are no um there are no uh, waves created in the faculty of discretion the um, faculty of discretion is in a stable state so when the faculty of discretion is in a stable state the mind that oscillates having a reference um of faculty of discretion is also stable so that is shanti mati the next nama is niradhara niradhara means uh, adhara means base or foundation or the reference niradhara means uh, niradhara means uh, um, adhara also can also mean dependency so niradhara means um, adhara and uh, niradhara both these qualities is beyond both these qualities and able to control these two qualities that means beyond the qualities of dependency and independency and able to control these two beyond the qualities of refer- having a reference and having no reference and able to control these two that is niradhara so if uh, if there is no reference if there is no anchoring point there is no um 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 how is it possible to have in other words how is it possible to have absolute 
uh, independency or absolute dependency. That's what Niradhara means. It's beyond dependency and independency able to control the two. So how can a person be absolutely independent or absolutely dependent or beyond these two? So when the wealth is stored in the tummy and uh, if the individual knows how to use the, the, the contents of this wealth towards restoring, restoration of order in the universe, towards uh, welfare of the mankind, towards uh, minimizing the imbalances in the society. So if, if, the, if the individual knows and uh, the universal mother herself um, makes a strategy how to apply this wealth, so there is no, there is no need for dependency on anybody. This individual is beyond dependency or beyond independency. The absolute dependency or absolute independency arises to this individual through the energy, through the connection of um, universal mother. So that is an iradhara. So the, the internal wealth that was stored in the tummy, there is no necessity for external base or external uh, reference or ex external anchoring, there is no difference. That is, that is Niradhara. So the previous Nama, the Santimati, um, Satodari Santimati, Satodari terminated with E, hence it terminates into the Satodari, uh, Sato, Santimati. Santimati in turn also terminated with E. Hence, Santimati terminates into Niradhara. That means the wealth, the controlling aspects of Santimati are passed to Niradhara. So that is about Niradhara. So the next Nama is Niranjana. So starting from Niradhara, Niradhara, so as, as we have discussed, it is, uh, it's indicative of the duality, Adhara, Niradhara, Dependency, Independency. So from this Nama, Niradhara Nama, the series of Namas that we encounter exhibits the, the dualities. That means if you take one particular quality, it has got two ends, two extremes. So Niradhara has got two extremes, that is one extreme is uh, extremum is um, absolute dependency. Other extremum is absolute independency. So beyond these two, that is niradhara. Uh, so we we are going to encounter series of duality namas starting from niradhara. So let us see what are those. The next nama is niranjana. So those who are um, cross the Bhakti Yoga, then Vijaya Yoga, then Aisvarya Yoga, so and the ability to use these uh, yogas, implementing these yogas, um, for them the the making them towards. Um, Causing, causing enlightenment to these individuals, that is Niranjana. That means uh, the illusion effects, if there are any, any illusion effects present in these individuals, the illusion effects have been removed through Niranjana. So the saturation uh, always doesn't necessarily mean, does, ne does not necessarily uh, leads to the enlightenment state state of enlightenment saturation doesn't lead to the state of enlightenment the enlightenment is even if there is some enlightenment that happens that is just temporary that is beyond saturation uh, it only provides uh, a platform for witness mode of operation to some extent so in that mode of operation it is possible that uh, there are some signs of enlightenment 
exhibition uh, being exhibited but it doesn't necessarily mean that it is an enlightened state so the real enlightenment is when there is the, the the individual is being blessed with the inner guru that is in residing in the agna chakra or sixth chakra uh, that is uh, between the eyebrows in your forehead so niranjana anjana means uh, darkness or it is the color of uh, black so uh, niranjana means uh, um the 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 brightness and darkness beyond these two and able to control these two the two extremes of niranjana are one is uh, the brightness other one is the, the other end is the darkness so ability to uh, be beyond these two ends and then able able to control by being beyond these two ends able to control these two ends that is niranjana so uh, if a, if a, if an attribute if a if a characteristic is not black it can be any other color it can be white it can be any other color it, it can be any of those seven colors so therefore uh, so niranjana means uh, the there are some, some individuals who um, who are influenced by some kundalini chakras um so the 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 strength of the intensity of some particular kundalini chakras are more in these individuals compared to the other chakras um so through this kundalini chakras so they exhibit the enlightenment and the uh, this this such individuals exhibits uh, the the color of that particular kundalini chakra when they get enlightenment so there are many examples to uh, prove this hypothesis uh, um let us see a few of those sita rama and uh, sita rama and uh, krishna for example Uh, rama and krishna are known to are being projected in our scriptures um having a color of violet or blue or uh, jamun fruit color so these colors are related to um the fifth sixth and seventh chakras that is visuddhi agna and uh, sahasrara chakra chakras so the that means they are the intensity of um these chakras in rama and krishna are, are uh, predominant hence uh, they exhibited this this uh, the body as exhibited this color it doesn't mean that the body is being coated with uh, paint of violet paste or anything like that as we see in the movies it is just the radiance of the body that uh, is being reflected uh, to the outside world to the physical world is having that particular color <coughs> hence uh, they are having this color so similarly sita um is uh, influenced by muladhara chakra as well as the swadhisthana chakra these two chakras the mixture of these two chakras will result in golden glow so sita is having a golden glow color so it doesn't mean that she is having a golden paint on her body no but uh, the the radiance that emanates from sita's sita's body is golden glow so she is more dominant with muladhara and swadhisthana chakras so through this uh, um, through this chakras uh, they have these individuals have shattered the the illusion or maya effect they are the curtain of illusion the screen of illusion 
um, been lifted for these individuals. So what is Maya? So, um, so the those individuals who get enlightenment, obviously they are able to shatter Maya or illusion. So what exactly is Maya? So, so let us see from um, through one example, one simple example. Let us try to understand what is illusion or Maya through a simple example. Um, anybody's uh, time of birth and uh, time of death can be known very precisely to a certain the very um, to a certainty it can be known uh, to a resolution of seconds it is possible to know so but a person as um, let's say uh, that is uh, having uh, 50 years uh, age um, if that person if that individual is being asked uh, what did you do after uh, you turn 20 um, on that day particular day in the evening at five o'clock if if uh, this question is being asked to this individuals what will be the answer so he says i may not know i what i have done when I was 20, evening at 12, 5 o'clock, or if he, even if he even if he remembers, even if the individual remembers what he or she has done, so if we ask what did you do the next day, then the answer will be, uh, I don't know. So the reason for this is that uh, although that phase is completed, uh, that phase the karmacharana during that phase is being performed under the shadow of illusion or maya so they they simply do not know that is maya maya means not be not being able to know because if there is if it is everything is darkness we simply do not know what is in the darkness that is maya ability to not not to see that is beyond the vision that is maya beyond the physical vision that is maya so the same question is being addressed to an enlightened person what did you do when you were when you turned 20 that particular day evening five o'clock the answer will be very simple I, I i was in yoga i was in a witness mode then what did you do the very next day this answer will be the same i mean i was in still yoga so that is beyond maya the ability to do, shatter the Maya. So, so they are because they are beyond time. Uh, so they are in yoga. So they are beyond time. So they they are always in yoga. So their karma and our action is always in yoga. So that is uh, that is Niranjana through Niranjana the the Guru's blessings have entered into the individuals. Who have crossed uh, bhakti yoga, then um, vidya yoga, and uh, uh, aishwarya yoga, and who got saturated in this and accumulated the wealth, and uh, um, making efforts to distribute this wealth equally to all the cross section of the people. Not only that, improving on this particular wealth through the Karmacharana to the faculty of mind that is firmly anchored to faculty of discretion that is as good as faculty of discretion of the Pancha Brahmas. These individuals uh, through the inner Guru's blessings are, uh, are put to, towards the path of enlightenment that is Niranjana. So this completes uh, this particular sloka. Sato Dari Santimati Niradhara Niranjana. Sato Dari Santimati Niradhara Niranjana. So through Sato Dari, the, the, the stable, um, 
the seek uh, ability to keep secrets ability to keep the wealth uh, like secrets and uh, improve on improving on this wealth keeping them in like uh, like in tummy so tummy is closest to the brahma grandhi which is the uh, the residence of faculty of intellect so satodari provides training to the faculty of intellect shanti mati through this uh, um the faculty of discretion of pancha brahmas um the the pancha brahmas uh, um, surfaces so shanti mati provides training to the faculty of discretion niradhara um niradhara uh, is the uh, oscillation of the mind the anchoring of the mind so niradhara provides training to the faculty of mind niranjana is uh, it's a gnanodaya or the enlightenment is considered as a rebirth for many individuals so hence the ego is vanished or the new personality has surfaced to the enlightenment so niranjana provides training to the faculty of personality so satodari provides training to the intellect faculty of intellect and santimati to faculty of discretion niradhara to faculty of mind and niranjana to faculty of personality so the remaining namas we will explore in the next episode thank you